I'll be going through the answers quickly, so make sure your course book is open and in front of you, and please stop and rewind the video as you need to. So, got your book open in front of you? Are your answers in capitals? Want to know why the answers are the answers? Then let's go. For question number nine, we've got to choose the correct word which refers to time. Uh, or rather quantifies time in some way. The idea is just a moment ago that they were somewhere else. So which quantifier works with seconds? Well, of course, the answer is few. Just a few seconds earlier, Tim was somewhere else. For question number 10, we need to find a word which basically means the same as to the point that. Because he's climbing uh, up series of all to the point that he reaches a rooftop. And then, of course, he can't climb any further. So what is this one word, this one preposition, which means the same as that? Well, of course, the answer is until. For question 11, we've got to find a word which somehow connects what follows the gap with what was mentioned before the gap. And of course, we need a relative pronoun to do that. Now, the type of relative pronoun that we need refers to a rooftop world, which is a thing, which means that we need the relative pronoun which. For question 12, this is a simple um, verb preposition collocation. So we need the preposition. And what preposition do we need is as. You define something as something. For question 13, we're discussing what it is that he did in the past. And he was a break dancer. So given the language structure that we're presented with here, which is a sheaf mm, to be a break dancer, what is the word that we need here? Well, of course, it's going to be used. Sheaf used to be a break dancer. For question 14, it's describing the way that he invented a style of movement which is unique to him. It belongs to him. So we have to choose the correct possessive pronoun that connects this relationship of something belonging to something else, someone else, sorry. And of course, the answer we're looking for is his, uh, to create his own very individual style of movement. For question 15, this is a straightforward, perfect form. What's the answer that we need here? Had. It was after he had seen, so we need the past perfect form, because we've got to remember the time context here, but the answer is had. For 16, we need the correct preposition which collocates with the verb beforehand to form the phrasal verb. And of course, the answer is on. You base something on years of experience, based on years of experience.